So, um, I'm getting ready to leave. Woohoo! Get over here. I'm <laughs> taking leave for a quick walk before I leave to go get my son. But I weighed in at 2.30 on the dot. So, it sucks because I wish I could have slept longer. I know if I would have slept longer, then I would have weighed in much lower. And I would have finally hit the 220s. But that's okay. Because I know tomorrow I will hit it for sure. Um, so, just watching Link. I got my keto chow, I tasted it, and I like the concoction that I made. I need to put it into my carb tracker and see that the fat's gonna be much, much lower. So I think I did four ounces of almond milk, eight, on eight ounces of water. Yeah. Four ounces of almond milk. Four ounces of almond milk, eight ounces of water, and then four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna put that in my tracker. I'm gonna see what that comes up to. And next time I may even do a little bit less heavy whipping cream just because I wanna I wanna find the perfect ratio. But it's thick, like I like it. It's not like super runny or anything, so that's good. I'm excited. Oh no, this dress is wet from dew, and I have sandals on. But can you believe it, you guys? Exactly on the dot, 2.30. Exactly. I am so stoked. I cannot believe that I am on this kick. And I was not, I can't believe that's all I ate yesterday. Like, I was not hungry. I feel like it's a keto chow. I really do. That's the only common denominator that's changed. And it's keeping me from, like, overeating and binging at night. It's crazy. But I like it. I'm gonna stick with it. I'll see you guys when I leave. All right, I thought I'd put this in a better spot so you guys could see me better, but all you get is the sun blasting down. So I need to find All right, that seems to actually be a really good spot for it where it is, so that's where I guess it's gonna keep it. It just sucks that the light has to come in that way. I am going to get some gas and then we're gonna be on our way. All right, it is 9.07 and we are on our way. Hey guys, uh, I got about an hour left, but I was just thinking in yesterday's video, I was falling asleep when I was editing it and I forgot to include a clip. It was me making the keto chow and Tiffany was recording it and I did mention that Tiffany recorded it, I think in the video, so if you're wondering where that went it's, I forgot it I will include it in today's video all right guys I'm making my keto chow for tomorrow with butter I was recommended to use hot water and um, it says three tablespoons is 48 grams so I'm just slicing up the butter and putting it in there um, maybe I should have melted it first and then put it in I don't know trial and error I know you guys told me a billion different ways to do it. What did I say? 48? Alexa, how many tablespoons? I think I missed part of your question. Try asking it again. Alexa, how many grams is three tablespoons of butter? There are 42.6 grams in three mm. tablespoons of butter. Girl. Alexa, how Good enough for me. It's melting. It's, it's doing this little melting thing. It smells weird. I'm, I might, uh, no, it's melting. Okay. I was going to say, I might take the roller ball out and then microwave it for a second to ensure. I still might. It looks melted to me but we're just gonna make sure oh no we are not gonna make sure because my cup is too big for the microwave so you know what i should have used i should have just used a keurig i bet you if i put my roller ball in there and shake it oh it's all melted okay there's only like a couple of pieces
Okay. So, here's the keto chow. No, not my face. Look at all that yummy goodness. Powder. One scoop will do ya. Right, Linky? One scoop will do ya. Not for you, buddy. Oh. There's a lemon. Lemon? That's butter. Hmm? That's butter. That looks like lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying it with butter tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Should I add any flavor into it? Well, I only have two options. Well, I have three options, but I don't think I'm going to use the third. Because the third is a Skittles. And Skittles and chocolate don't sound good to me, right? Sounds gross. Yeah. So. How stupid did I look? Amazing. All right, guys. This is my lunch tomorrow. Of course, it's very liquidy right now. But after sitting in the refrigerator all night and all day tomorrow, it's going to be delicious. been home for a little while it was a nice drive back we just listened to music and just kind of like talked about the summer so I didn't record I did drink my keto shake my keto chow my keto shake I drank my keto chow um, about one o'clock and I liked it that way with the eight ounces of water four ounces of almond milk and then four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream it was very good that way and so I prepared another one and I'm bringing that with me to Chris's house because now that's where I'm on my way he has the day off so I'm going to spend the day with him and um, all the boys are spending time with each other and um, uh, my roommate is home with them as well because his cat is about ready to pass away. Unfortunately, he's 17, he's old, and he's not doing so well right now. So they're all hanging out. Um, I'm going to Starbucks, grab myself a coffee and probably a green tea for the drive. Cause I need all the drinks and I'm not hungry I don't know what I'll eat later but maybe I'll order some chicken wings from Domino's or something and he can get like a little pizza I don't know We'll have to see, I guess. I had an, uh, did I tell you I had an egg this morning? I had one hard boiled egg this morning before I left. I did bring that granola bar, but I didn't eat it. I actually gave it to Corey, so Corey ate it. And yeah, I mean, it's been a great day. It's three o'clock, so all that was taken care of pretty early. We left early to get that done and out of the way. So I'm going to stop recording, listen to some music, get my coffee and my tea, and I'll update you with anything if I need to. And here is dinner. It is 8 o'clock at night, and I'm going to have eight wings from Domino's with some of their ranch. These are just plain. Um, they look really good. So this one we have, and that's probably going to be it. I might fry up some cheese. 
Also, I threw some cheddar cheese with some garlic seasoning and some oregano and then ripped up a little piece of chicken and threw that in there and I'm going to have that too.